Let's see about the gate turn off thyristor GTO. So first we should know why we want to study about gate turn off thyristor because SCR has been used in almost most of the high power application but what are the limitations of SCR? First thing it is a semi control device that is it can be turned on by giving a positive gate current but you cannot control the turn off process. So it will be decided by the circuit in which the SCR is connected. And if SCR is used in a DC circuit, you need a separate commutation circuit to turn off the SCR. So this is a huge task. So to overcome this limitation, GTO is used. So as the name suggests, GTO means you can turn off the thyristor by giving a negative gate current. So that is called GTO, gate turn off thyristor. So it is a fully controlled device turned on by positive gate current and turned off by negative gate current. So if you see the symbol of GTO, it is similar to that of an SCR. So you have three terminals, anode, cathode and gate. So one difference is that gate has uh, in SCR you have a single line. Here you have two lines to indicate that it accepts both positive current and negative current. Or this can be represented in this way also. So symbol will be similar to, to that of an SCR except that gate is different. So it is a unidirectional device. Like an SCR, it carries current from anode to cathode and it is also a bipolar device. So let us see the structure of a GTO. It is a PNPN structure. Uh, what is the difference you have to make is this gate should be made bidirectional. That is it has to accept both positive and negative current. So there is a constructional difference in the GTO. But because of this what happens is the magnitude of the gate current required to turn on the uh, device is more in case of a GTO. For example, uh, if I need 100 milliamps to turn on an SCR, I may need 2 amps to turn on the GTO. And the other thing is latching current requirement is also high. So what is the latching current? It is the minimum current required to turn on the SCR. So here to turn on the GTO you need more current. The other thing in SCR you can remove the gate pulse once SCR turns on. But for better reliability, you have to maintain a small current in case of GTO. And for turning off, you have to give a large negative gate current to turn off this GTO. So let us see the VA characteristics of GTO. It is similar to that of an um, SCR. So you give the gate current for different gate current it will conduct at different voltages the one thing you can see here is the latching current or the the current at which it turns on is more okay it is around 2 amps whereas in SCR it will be around only 50 to 100 milliamps so latching current is higher in higher than an SCR Similarly, holding current is the minimum current below which current should fall so that uh, SCR will get turned off. That is also high in, in an SCR. Uh, and for um, if you take a 1000 amps GTO, uh, for turning off, uh, you have to give a gate current of around 200 amps. So this is a very high value. So giving a uh, 200 amps current to the gate circuit means gate circuit design will be too complicated. So that is a major drawback here. 
switching characteristics. Uh, the turn on characteristics is similar to an SER because um, we are giving a positive gate current and turning on the SER. Uh, so turn on time is equal to delay time, rise time plus spread time. Uh, if you want to know more about this, you can watch the switching characteristics of SER video. The turn on time can be decreased by increasing the gate current. So if you see the um, turn off characteristics, it is completely different from the SER because here you are giving a negative gate current to turn off the AC, uh, GTO. So you see here uh, current is negative, gate current is negative. So when you apply the negative gate current, the anode voltage and the anode current remains constant for some time. Uh, during the storage time. So during which uh, the XX carriers are removed from the junctions. After some time, that is during the fall time, the anode current falls uh, uh, rapidly and uh, the voltage starts to increase. After the fall time, the anode current starts to become zero and uh, the voltage rises to the supply voltage and there will be a uh, overshoot here. So this is because of the snubber values connected across the GTO. So snubber is used for DV by DT protection. So this snubber circuit we have already seen um, in thyristor protection video. So to uh, change this overshoot or reduce this one, you can change the capacitance value of this snubber circuit. So turn off characteristics is different from SER. This is the difference between SER and GTO. So the SER can be turned on by positive gate pulse and once turned on you can remove the gate pulse. But GTO is also turned on by positive gate pulse but the magnitude of the gate current required is more. And one more thing you have to maintain a small gate current for better reliability. And you cannot control the turn off process in an SCR, whereas uh, you can uh, turn off by giving a large negative current. But this increases the complexity in the gate drive circuit. And the latching current and holding current is usually small in case of an SCR, uh, whereas in GTO it is a very high value. And the on state voltage drop is less in SCR while it is high in a GTO. And uh, SCRs are used in only in low switching speed, whereas GTOs are uh, comparatively have a higher switching speed, say 1 kilohertz. And this uh, SCR has low efficiency because it needs commutation circuit to turn off. Whereas GTO has low uh, losses and higher efficiency. Uh, these are some of the differences between SCR and GTO. GTO. So let us see the applications. So GTO is used in high performance drive system, rolling mills, robotics, inverters, DC drives. And in most of the uh, applications now, GTOs are replaced by IGBTs. So points to remember, GTO is a fully controlled device. Turn on and off are controlled by gate current. So it is a bipolar device. Magnitude of current required is more. Turn off by large negative current. And turn on characteristics same as SCR, but turn off characteristics is different. And it has a faster switching speed, so it is used in inverters and drives. So these are the references. And if you like the video, please do subscribe to our Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.